extent that the details can be tricky to determine accurately. We think 139 degrees is fine, but we wouldn't want to use a dashcam with a lens narrower than that. As there is no display, videos are managed on the Blackboo app, which is available for iOS, Android, Windows, and Mac. Videos are saved to an South Dakota card, but can be transferred from the camera to the app over a direct Wi-Fi connection. As well as Wi-Fi, there's also integrated GPS to add speed and locational data to your videos. Thinkware Q800 Pro Q800 Pro is a high-end dash cam from Thinkware, which features a high-quality 2K video, lane departure warning, and a speed camera alert system. The camera also offers advanced night vision capabilities, shoots through a 140-degree lens, and has integrated GPS. By understanding the movements and distance of the vehicle ahead, the camera can also warn you if it thinks you are going to crash into the car in front. It can also be set to sound an alert when the car ahead moves away and you haven't noticed. Thinkware's dash cams are shaped differently to most others, and despite being expensive, the Q800 Pro does not have a display. This is a deliberate move to limit driver distraction, so instead there are a few buttons to adjust settings, and you can take more control via the Thinkware smartphone app. The rear camera is much smaller and shoots at full HD at 30fps through a 140-degree lens. It plugs into the front camera using a long cable, and both record to the same South Dakota card held in the front camera. An Ultra HD 4K at 30fps, or 2K 1440p at 60fps. While 4K sounds great, we would recommend the higher frame rate and lower resolution, as this will help you identify details like number plates when the footage is paused. Ultra HD video files are also huge, so can be a pain to store and transfer. The optional rear camera shoots 2K 1440p video at 30fps through a 156-degree lens and is compact enough so as not to be distracting when stuck to the inside of your rear windscreen. As with the Q800 Pro, the U1000 has GPS and a suite of driver assistance and safety systems, including red light, speed camera, and average speed warnings. There is no display, but the U1000 is still quite large. This should be fine in most cases, but some modern vehicles now have a large forward-facing camera and sensor rigs of their own, located close to the rearview mirror. This could make it tricky to place the U1000 in the optimal position on your windscreen. Aki Dash Cam Dual The Aki Dash Cam Dual system represents great value for money, as it includes a pair of full HD cameras with wide lenses and a small display. That display is only 1.5 inches, but it means setting everything up and checking the view of the camera before sticking its mounting system into place is easier than others. There is also a set of buttons to make interacting with the camera easier than tapping at the small screen. Both front and rear cameras record in full HD at 30fps, and the front has a particularly wide 170-degree lens, while the rear measures in at 152 degrees. As we said earlier, this might cause some distortion across videos, especially those recorded by the front camera, but if you have a particularly wide vehicle, this could be a price worth paying. Despite the lower price than most, this camera still offers the features you'd expect, like automatic incident detection and recording, and a continuously recording parking mode when hardwired to your vehicle. As with the other options offered here the Aki's rear camera connects to the front using a long cable, the kit includes 4 and 7 meter options, depending on the size of your vehicle. Garmin Dash Cam The Garmin Dash Cam 66W is one of our favorite dash cams, but it can be used as a dual dashcam. It benefits from Garmin's Smart Dash Cam Auto Sync feature, where up to four compatible cameras can set to record at the same time. That way, you could fit dashcams to the front and rear of your back of your car, you will be better off ordering a dual camera dashcam. Doing so allows you to install the secondary cam when you are ready. The move gives you the flexibility to own both recording devices in one camera, with nearly the same cost. If you happen to purchase the one-channel camera and then decide that you need to start recording the rear, you will have to buy a new single-channel recorder or order a rearview mirror dashcam. With two single dashboard cameras, you will be managing two storage cards, which is complex to wire. The thing is that there is no shortage of models in the market. With a little research to nail down the best front and rear dash cam for you, we've sifted through plenty of the top dash cams to settle on the 10 best dual dashboard cameras for 2020. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thinkware U1000 Thinkware's current flagship dashcam, the U1000, can be set to record
Securing the best front and rear dash cam in 2020 can feel overwhelming. Unlike the single-channel dashboard cams that only record the front of the vehicle, front and rear dash cams capture footage in two directions, hence come with two cameras. With a secondary camera, these models simultaneously record the front and rear of the car. Along with the two courses, some dual-channel dash cams have a hidden camera for car interior. Now, you cannot upgrade a dashcam from a single channel to a dual dashboard camera. If you find that you may eventually start recording the back car, but also facing out of the sides, which could be particularly useful for larger vehicles like vans and motorhomes. Obviously, this means you do need to buy two or more cameras, so factor that into your comparisons. The Sato Sync feature is not exclusive to the 66W, it also works with Garmin's 46, 56, Garmin Dash Cam Mini, and Garmin Tandem Dash Cam Dash Cams. The latter has two lenses of its own, to record the interior of the car as well as the exterior. As for the Dash Cam 66W itself, it records in 1440p at 60 frames per second, and with HDR. It also has a wide 180 degree wide angle lens. Unusually for a dashcam, the 66W has a battery. But it only lasts for 30 minutes, so you'll really want to the plug-in for most journeys, or permanently hardwire the camera to your car. Blackview DR750's 2CH Blackview's DR750's is a compact dash cam which lacks a display, but is small enough to be all but hidden behind your rear view mirror, preventing driver distraction. Both cameras of the two-channel version shoot at full HD, although the rear has to make do with 30fps, compared to the front camera's superior 60fps. Both cameras have a 139-degree lens, which is a little narrower than others, but there is an argument that a wider lens can distort images to the extent